Good people are good because they've come to wisdom through failure. We get very little wisdom from success. Mm. True. And this is my story, um, a piece of it. So I am gay and uh, I grew up and there were no mirrors. I never saw, I never read a book that had a gay character when I was a teen or a kid. And it was extremely hard to envision that there was anyone else in the entire world that was a guy that liked other guys. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't know any, there were none on TV. And I felt so alone. The joke is that my older brother is gay and I didn't know it. Um, <laughs> and we, neither of us knew about the other, but I felt so alone. And then on top of feeling so alone, I, I believed that I was like the first person in the world to feel the way I felt. And it was crushing. And my mistake was that I believed that. So I struggled with that all through school. And I was very closeted. And in school, I had another one where it was like I believed I was alone in history. I felt like no one in history was, was gay. Mm -hmm. Everyone in history was portrayed as a, a white, rich man. And then suddenly, uh, who was straight? And then suddenly, I, I heard about the Stonewall riots and the Stonewall Inn in 1969. And that sign says, uh, where pride began. And I was like, oh, oh, there were gay people in 1969. I was two years old. OK. <laughs> so, but, but then I discovered that Carl Maria Curtinberry invented the word homosexual 100 years earlier in 1869. And I was like, Wait a minute, there were gay people in the 1800s? That's incredible. And then I went to a lecture, and this guy talked about how Abraham Lincoln wrote these letters to Joshua Fry Speed, letters that lead a lot of people to believe that Abraham was in love with Joshua. And I was like, wait a minute, that was 1840. That was before the word was invented. Oh my gosh, there were gay people back then, but I didn't believe it. The, the thing about Lincoln, I was like, now that is a bridge too far. That cannot be true. How, how could it be true? And I, I, I mean, I, Lincoln, he's not like Mount Rushmore in the $5 bill, and I just couldn't believe it. But then I went to the library and I pulled all the primary sources I could, and I read it, and oh my gosh, Lincoln, I'm so convinced, because he felt the way I felt. He wrote a letter to his best friend and said um, about judging being with a woman the right thing to do, but not feeling it. And it was like this crack in the facade of history for me. And suddenly I realized they weren't all white, rich men that were cisgendered and straight. And, and I was like, oh my gosh, there's Eleanor Roosevelt and her relationship with Lorena Hickok, and there's the Fairhead Shepset, there's all these things. So I wrote two books. One was a YA novel inspired by this, and then one was a nonfiction. I sold the novel, sorry, I sold the nonfiction to a big five publisher, and I believe that my book had value because I just sold it to a big publisher that everybody had heard of. And this was my mistake. I believe that that was the reason my book had value. That I had value as a, as a person telling this truth from history because this big five publisher came along and it's like, okay, yes, now we're ready for what you have to say. So I, we went through the whole process. The book was edited. We were talking cover design. It was going to the copy editor. Trump was elected. Two weeks later, my book was canceled. Because it talked about Lincoln being in love with another guy. And I was like, it was this gigantic no. And my agent was like, no worries. We're going to sell this in three weeks. It's so strong. It's so important. Everybody needs to read this book. And no other publishers were brave enough. We tried for nine months. And then uh, here's where wisdom came in. <laughs> I didn't believe them that, that my book had no value. I knew it did. I knew that if, some, if by some miracle of time travel that someone had handed me my book, and given it to me when I was 15 years old, it would have changed my life. Just knowing this idea that someone was gay in the past, oh my gosh, it would have opened up everything. So then this amazing serendipity happened that I started working at the Independent Book Publishers Association. And I was like, you know, people self-publish books. <laughs> That's really interesting. And, and in addition to that, they do it beautifully. And, and I did a Kickstarter, and it happened in January. And we uh, raised enough money to not only donate we, uh, books uh, to, to publish it professionally, but also to donate books to LGBTQ teens. And we went way past our goal. The book publishes in October, and it's a mirror. And the tagline is, what if you knew a secret from history that could change the world? And the answer to that is that I'm going to publish it. <laughs> Thank you.